in the next Ninth Age battle between Orkin Goblins and the Dwarven Holds. The Chavalry and Sheriffs are heavy on the right flank, while the Chaff leads on the other flank. It's an encircle battle and the objective is to hold the center for as long as possible, from round two onwards. The Dwarven Holds is a shooting list with some flame on the uh, ballista and a fire rune on the king against the two big troll units. Other than that, this terrain is not beneficial to the Dwarven Hold shooting list because of the forest in the middle of the battle. So they choose to be high on the flank to get the hill where they though had to meet the pump wagons from the Orkin Goblin army which dropped everything first. <laughs> Random movement is a fast success. Everything else moves up, the magic phase was a fluff, fluff, and here the dwarves are ready with their shooting. Looks like the cannon might have to shoot through the forest to hit the green idol, and that would be its favorite target. From the purview of the Grand King of Nutlings, Warlord of Humpwagons. On turn two, the two troll units charge into the King's throne bearing unit. They lose too many dwarves. And lose eight dwarfs or so. Three troll wounds are caused, but uh, the king's dwarf unit is stubborn. It's uh, whittled down, but it is stubborn. This, however, does not look good for the shooting army, which had hoped to at least hold the flank. Where the pump wagon got into the handgunners, and uh, the national wrecking team ran through the vengeance seeker. And the Great Green Idol tore into the ballista and the fanatics came out killing the other Vengeance Seeker and surrounding the King's unit. The trolls being very comfortable with fanatics because they have regen are not worried about the fanatics running through the combat. This was Indeed, a hard matchup for the Dwarven shooting list, as we discussed beforehand. We've started Dwarven Holds round two. They charged in the BSB's unit of Greybeards. Uh, walking through one fanatic, the organ gun tried to shoot the warlord of scrap wagons without success. It made its 4 plus rear rollable armor stable. So it's looking dire for the dwarven holes, but they can always hold out with their two blocks as long as the trolls haven't crumbled in. And they do have artillery left, so nothing is. <laughs> the two troll units flee from combat and the deep watch catch the nine river trolls after having killed ten wounds on the storm trolls. That was a very good effectuated combat round by the dwarves. Other than that, it's pretty much an even battle now. They did catch up by killing one unit of stone of river trolls and get making the other flee. Now it's turn three for the pump wagon horde. After round three, the great green idol loses five wounds, including one to the fanatic when he reforms into the fanatic. The king has actually reformed out into the flank or made way. 
there were six dwarfs felled in the combat and the trolls rallied. Now on turn three for the dwarfs they charge the goblins, they choose to just shoot on the chaffing wolf riders and they have some artillery left in the corner. The goblins flee on their steadfast leadership and the green idol is killed by the king. Now, turn four for the goblins. The trolls and orc general charge into the king's unit, but the general is challenged out and only does four wounds anyway, so they auto-break from the combat, and the king's dwarf unit tries to chase them down unsuccessfully. In their turn again, they charge the troll, with one remaining stone troll with one wound. This was turn four, begun now, not turn five. The pump wagon and boar boys charged into the king's uh, deep watch unit, killing all the deep watch, thereby the king was not steadfast. The king only killed two boar boys, had uh, a four re-rollable leadership, which he failed, and was caught by a pump wagon. What a miserable end to fall for a pump wagon against the army of the warlord of pump wagons. Now the general and troll rallied, the shaman didn't rally, and will end at the end of turn four, four now. The uh, greybeard charge the general. And he stands. And they're in. So it'll be a last battle there, a last pitch. This is the end of the battle. The champion died in a challenge, and the Lord of Pumpwagon stood on a six leadership test. The Boar Boys were shot down, the dwarves take the objective. And the battle is very thin, but in the favor of the dwarfs in points still.